Messiah. Yeah, he the black Messiah. Messiah, Messiah. The nations don't desire. Messiah, Messiah. He's coming with the fire. Only the men, not the boys, the heavens should pass away with a great noise. The second Peter 3 and 10. God know he coming back. Tell a friend to repent. Oh, he going with the wind. Free smoke, free smoke. And that is thus said the Lord. I caught a murder that he wrote. Just like Noah on the boat. Matthew 24, verse 36 on down. The hour nobody knows. Like a thief in the night. When the Christ coming back here, life switching with the Father won't. That's my business when we keep it lost. That's righteousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a pass test. My people scattered abroad. From the east to the west. So give me uh, 2 Maccabees 4, verse 15. I want you to understand sports and all these things that we do in America. They're that basically like what's going on with all, you know, these celebrities. They got to sell themselves until, you know, yep. society should change. You know, they selling themselves to do mischief. Because we go into these sports arenas, not to cut you off, into these different things. Guess what? You're going to end up breaking God's commandments. Right. You're going to be working on the Sabbath day. You're going to end up trying to do something to make more money for a contract. they pulling you further and further away from God. And guess what? The same thing was going on back then. I'm going to read you one more. Read that. 2 Maccabees chapter 4 verse 15. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. So they didn't want to do what their forefathers did like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But like in the glory of the Grecians. They like the glory of who? The Grecians. Best of all. They wanted to do what the Greeks was doing. They wanted to do what the Greeks was doing. Uh, Give me that one that say, uh, exercise again. Second, uh, exercise 4 and 15. Bring it out! That's it. Second Maccabees First Maccabees 1. First Maccabees 1. Exercise. Yeah. Second Maccabees 4 and 15. Go back to Second Maccabees 4 and 15. Yeah. I want you to listen to this, Sister Taylor. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 4 and verse 15. 12. Verse 12. For he built gladly a place of exercise. So they back at it again. They built a place of exercise. The Greeks did. Remember, these wicked Israelites say, let's do what the Greeks doing. Let's stop doing what our forefathers did. Read. Right. Under the tower itself. And brought the chief young men under his suggestion. And they brought the chiefest of the Israelites, the best. Read. And made them wear a hat. Made them wear a what? A hat. That's why every signing day, they always say, uh, what's the hat? They always got those hats of what college they going to. Right? They always got the hats of what, 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 they going, what college they going to. The helmets, they got football. Every sport, every sport has a hat. It has a hat. Why does the Bible say that they made them wear a hat and we're doing it today? The Bible's a true book. Everything is broke down in there. Read. Now such was the height of Greek fashion. And that was the height of the Greekish fashions, like the Olympics. Right. Every, every four years now, right? But every, back then, it was every year. They had the Olympics, the game of discus. They had the, uh, the Colosseums. And guess what? Who was being entertained? And who was doing the entertaining? No. Who was doing the entertaining? We were in those in those arenas. That's right. And who was being who was we, who was who was we entertaining? The so-called white man, the other nations. Right. right. Give me Proverbs three and thirty-one now. Yep. So when I said you had said, should we do these things? Should we play sports and all that? I'm showing you that was never our custom. And it damn sure wasn't no sister out there doing that either. But nowadays, our sisters love to do that stuff. Want to be uh, the next Serena Williams, Venus and Serena, trying to play basketball. You understand? Read that. The book of, Go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. The Bible say what? 
Envy thou not the oppressor. Don't envy the oppressor. And choose none of his ways. And choose none of their ways. Go back to Maccabees. We shouldn't choose what they do. Because that was the height of the Greekish fashions. Right. Remember, wicked Israelite men tried to get all of us to go and do that. But some of us said, you know what, we ain't doing it. We're going to stick to God's commandments. Yes, go back to that. Second Maccabees chapter 4 verse 13. Now such was height of Greek fashions and increased the heathenish manners through the exceeding prof profanation uh -huh. of Jason, that ungodly wretch. Because there was a guy named Jason. He was very ungodly. He had high status in getting the Israelites to go and do what the Greeks was doing. Read. And no high priest. Read. That the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the altar. They ain't want to serve no more at the altar, doing what they're supposed to do for God. But despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices. Read it again. That the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the altars. They ain't want to do the altar, go to serve God. Just like nowadays, we don't want to come here about the Bible. We don't want to go and honor the Sabbath day, which is today. We don't even go to church no more, but guess, right, even though it's on the wrong day, but guess what? The church is really the people. It's a, it's a, it's a people. It's not a building. That we are the church. That's we right. have a church in here right now. Right. You understand? Right. Right. That's why we say come to the school and learn. We refer to our building as a school. Because we the church. Just like they didn't want to do, do it back then, we don't want to do it today. We'd rather go and shoot hoops. We'd rather go and play. let me go watch the game. Let me go to home and go to sleep. They go to the game, gonna be on the night. I need all my rest to watch the game. Right. You, you gonna cook, mama? Yeah, I'm gonna cook, baby. We're gonna watch the game and all that. Doing these Greekish fashions, that's how we were. That's how we are today. Read. But despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, hastening to be partakers of the unlawful allowances uh -huh. in the place of exercise. In the place of what? Exercise. The gym again. Read the in, in place of actually got the gym, not just weights, but you got let's think about it like today basketball courts. What else you got in the gym? The, the tennis courts, the volleyball, the gymnastics, swimming, all of that. Bodybuilding. Read that part again. Uh, hastening to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise. Uh -huh. After the game of discus. The game of what? Discus. I'm telling this Bible of going through all of that right now. Read. These are the Greekish fashions that we love to do. Read. After the game of discus called them forth, not setting by the honors of their fathers. And we didn't want to do what our forefathers did. But like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all. You got the history right there. That's why they took this out of the Bible. They took that because they know we weren't doing that playing basketball, football, baseball, volleyball, game of discus, track meet. Yeah, you put us, it wasn't our custom, but you start making us do it. We ain't got no choice but to be the best at it. Right. We made above everybody. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We made above all people. Right. We made to be the salt of the earth. Go back to that. Go back to that. Go back to that. It's some more on that. Because guess what you... Guess what? If we stay in that, we all going to be the best at it. But it's going to pull us further and further and further away from God. That's right. Read it. The book of 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 16. <laughs> by reason whereof sore calamities came upon them. So by us doing that, by us doing that, what happened? Did she hit the car? She ain't hit it. No, it. Oh, That's your car? Yeah. She stopped. We got. She hit it. That was Is Danny? Nah, we good. Okay. Make sure we straight. Okay, I'll praise. You good. Go check on the car for the sister. Read that. By the reason where uh, sore calamity came upon them. Sister Taylor, we got somebody checking on your car. I think you good to go. She came close, but she ain't did it. See, you listen to the word of God, most high God, he saves you. All praises. All praises. So, guess what? Listen to this part again. By us doing the Greekish fashions, going into the gymnasiums, basketball, I'm saying basketball because you say you play, and all the other stuff we're doing. By us doing that, what happened? So calamities came upon them. 
By us doing it, sore calamity came upon us. Meaning we went through hell, we went through stuff to where we think we think that's okay. Sore calamity came upon us. What you got? Uh, you know who Candace Wiggins is? Candace Wiggins? Yeah, she's played with Stanford. She was the number three pick in 2005 and 2009. Okay, okay. Well, she retired from the WNBA, and this is the reason why. She said that she was bullied for being heterosexual and that 98% of the women in the WNBA are homosexual. Stop, stop, stop. She was bullied for being straight. She was bullied for being straight. She also claims that it was very, very harmful. Bullying culture has prompted many responses and discussions in her and is the main. You see that? Because when we go into sports, it brings on a different spirit. Gymnasium, guess what that means? A naked place of exercise. Gymno. Are you in a fraternity? Are you in a sorority? You're Eastern Star. Okay, oh, she's an Eastern Star. What goes on with that? Tell me about Eastern Star. I mean, I'm not Huh? I can tell you for a fact it's stuff that goes on. I know, I'm learning now. Oh, you're learning now. So should we be into certain stuff like that? Guess what? We say fraternity and a lot of that come from where? Greeks. Greek worship. And we just read, well, read that again, 415. A lot of fraternities come from that. All of them come, All of them come from that. The Greek is stuff. We just read about the Greeks in the Bible. Right. Hold on, Taylor. Check this out. No. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. We are set by the honor of our fathers or the honor of your foremothers, Sarah, Rebecca, right? Mother Mary. Uh, who else? Deborah, Hadassah, Judith. Not setting by those honors. But liking the glory of the Grecians. Of the fraternities, the sororities, the Eastern stars, right? The uh, Q dogs, they think we Q dogs out here. We ain't no damn Q dogs. We prophets of God out here. We wear purple because it's a royal color when you read the Bible. Read that again. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians. The sororities, the frat houses, and all that. The Grecians. Best of all. Best of all. What else you got? This is the order of the Eastern Star. Is a Masonic. Eastern Star. Is a Masonic. A pendant body open to men and women. It was established in 1850. Uh, what were we in 1850? Bring it out. Well, in 1850, where were the so-called black man and black woman? 1850? Picking cotton. This was established when we was in slavery, first off, so you know we didn't start this. Right. In 1850 by lawyer and educator Rob Morris. It the order is based on teachings from the Bible, but it's open to people of all religious beliefs. It say it's open to the Bible, but the Bible don't support none of that. That's hypocrisy. You understand? They deceive. They just. But you learn. You learn it now. You learn it. That's why I ain't, I ain't getting on you too hard. But I'm gonna show you. You gotta change your ways, and you gotta come out of whatever things you was doing that you know pulling you away from God. You understand? The sister says she got bullied for being straight in the NBA because more than 98% was gay. That's right. Was gay. It started in high school. It started junior high. Give me Romans 126. Bring it I'm going to show you something. That's nothing new. That's nothing new. You know, the, you ever heard of Sodom and Gomorrah? America is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah right now. The children of Israel are enslaved in America. We're doing the same things that we were doing back then. Romans 126. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Listen close. I need your undivided attention again. God gave them up to what? Unto vile affection. Meaning disgusting affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What? The Bible is getting explicit for a second if your mind can go there. Read that again for the sister. Read that again. For this cause, God gave them up. For this cause, because they didn't want to do what I say do and keep my commandments, right? Up unto vile affection. Read it from the top again. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even the women, even the women in the NBA, in these, doing these lesbian acts, even their women, 
then change the natural use into that which is against nature. So, being Right. That's nature says a man and a woman should come together. That's natural. A woman got different parts from a man. And you get a man and woman together, it, okay, these must go together. But if you got the same thing, the other person got the same thing, that's backwards. It don't make no sense. It say, read that again. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For this cause, they gave them Greekish fashions, basketball, different sports, doing gymnasium, which means a naked place of exercise. Those things are the main thing that caused the homosexual spirit. That's the main thing that's gonna cause a man. You got two men in the locker room taking showers together. You got the who? The white Howard. You got basketball players coming out the closet saying they gay, openly now. Think about it, you got women in there all the time now. Look, and you know women more, they more affectionate than, than men are. So women in there, hey girl, I like your hair, and I'll let you in the shower running, running water naked and stuff. Of course she's gonna wanna touch you on your boobs. No. She's gonna look at you a little bit different now. Oh, how you get how you get your butt looking all perky over there? You been doing some extra squats in there or something? Right. Well, certain that. sisters Bring think like that though. Certain sisters, I gotta go there because certain women think like that. Right. And guess what? Now you got studs. You got dykes, and you in there weak-minded, they gonna get you. It's over with. They gonna get you. Read it again. I hope you got fight strong. And if you was in that, I'm not picking on you. I got some cousins. I'm not picking on you. I would say I got cousins that was in that. I got. They really try to force it on They really do. In real life, like I had a roommate. I first got to Jackson State, she was gay, she was in the basketball team, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Every day, she's like, oh, I don't believe in sleeping in their clothes. Slip, butt, dicky, boobs out. Yeah. Out. One day I came to, um, they came in the room late, she thought I was asleep. Uh-huh. She smashed the girl beside me. Right there. Damn, that's a damn, that's so, that's some damn idolatry. By us going away from our God, we be into all type of unseemly acts. Read that, read, read, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14, 26. I'm going to show you that is so heavy in the Bible, it ain't no joke that it's still going on today. I can believe it's still going on today like that. 14, 26. The book of, of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 26. No. Disquieting of good men. For forgetfulness of good turns, good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, changing of what? Changing of kind. Read it, verse twenty-three. Verse twenty-three. For which they slew their children in sacrifices. This is us going into idolatry, right? Read. Or use secret ceremonies, or made reviling of strange rites. Read. They kept neither. Lies nor marriage any longer undefiled. We kept lie say they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Read. No. But either but either one slew another. We slew one another. We had hatred towards one another by going into idolatry, by serving different gods, by falling into different temptations, by doing Greekish fashions. Read. Treacherously. Or grieved him by adultery, uh -huh. so that there rain and all men without expectation exceeded blood, manslaughter, theft. It's going to all the things we did one to another. Read this, this emulation. Jump into verse 26. It's going to list a whole bunch of things. Read this quieting of good men, uh -huh. forgetfulness of good turns. We forgot how to be loving one to another. Read. Defiling of souls. We defiled our souls for going into idolatry and doing everything our God said don't do. Right. We did. That's right. And he going through a list of it. Changing of kind. It's going to, it said what? Changing of kind. Changing of kind. Now you got certain Bibles next to that word kind. It got a number and you look over to the reference. It says sex. So it's changing of your sex. Meaning what? Transcend right, right, right. Read on. Disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanness. Shameless uncleanness meaning she's not ashamed to lay next to you and have sex with another woman. That's shameless uncleanness. You understand that? All from us going against our God and thinking it's okay. 
and thinking it's okay. All of that idolatry goes into sororities, masonry, fraternities, uh, frat houses, all that. That's pure idolatry. And we read out of, go back to the book of Maccabees, we read, go to Romans 126, I'm saying. We read all that out of the Bible. The Bible is a true book. So when we say we love God, we're going to keep his commandments, it's more than just saying it. It's an action. You understand? That's how serious it is for you to say, you know what? I'm going to put on a dress because I can't be taking a chance on walking down that damn road. That's right. Because the devil is waiting on you to do that. Believe it or not, he wants you to leave here and say, you know what? It ain't going to be that bad. But no, it will be. Hold on, here you go. Let me say something. Hey, um, this is, right now, you, this is the greatest time for you to repent. Right. Since you've been knowing about this truth, because the officer bringing out everything. Just to, to uh, get the point what the officer brought out, give me uh, second entrance five and two. Because another sister bringing a sister in to smash right in front of you. This is wicked times. They haven't always been like this. If you rewind the years, go 10 years back, it wasn't like that. It wasn't people walking around boasting and bragging that they was gay. They was in the closet. Before that, you just thought something was wrong with your cousin or something. You just left it at that. But now it, it didn't got worse. It only is going to get worse. But if you not know where to get your soul together, we all will be going down. Not just you, but all of us. If we didn't have this Bible, we all would be going down. And I'm going to prove that with this scripture, but not with this one. But watch this. Second Ezra chapter 5 verse 2. But iniquity shall increase above that which now thou seest. You see that? Ezra said, look, the, it, um, sin is going to increase. That's what's going on now, right or wrong? It it's increased, right? Read it again. But iniquity shall be increased above that. Which now thou see him. Now go to Second Edges five and uh no Second Edges eight and fifty. Now watch this. So it increased now, right? That's increasing. Another sister, I can't even imagine that. Say for instance, I'm a dude. That ain't happening. I'm not. You know, I'm just saying. I, I can't even put myself in that position. I'm sorry. But my thing is. That's right. Bro, I ain't gonna stand. I, I shared right. it too. Bro. I was scared, but I'm I, like, man, look. I, I, I'm gonna tell you the worst it got for me when you know I'm in an apartment. You live in an apartment and you got somebody that's that's they got that lifestyle going on upstairs. That's, it's like somebody stabbing you, but just to pay, you know, you got to you got to witness this crap. You see what I'm saying? That means sin have increased. Now watch this. But this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. Watch this. Second Andrew chapter eight verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time in the last days shall dwell in the world. So it's a lot of stuff that's going on that's dwelling in the world that ain't right. Read it again. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have they have walked in great pride. They have their what? Walked in great pride. So we wonder why HIV is rapidly in the gay communities. We wonder why all this stuff is going down. Because the, the sin that they're in, they, they in their pride with it. You understand what I'm saying? So now read it again from the top. I want to make sure you catch this verse. Read it again. For many great miseries shall be done in, in them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. Gay pride. Read. But understand thou for thyself. You understand for yourself. And seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So you seek out the glory that such be like thee. Meaning we love God. We're trying to keep these commandments. So you need to be around sisters like, like you trying to get yourself together and keep these commandments. Right, well, we got sisters right. that in the school that actually was in that lifestyle and out of that lifestyle now and actually keeping these commandments. Right, you understand? Right. We got sisters that's almost went to that lifestyle that's in there that keeping the commandments. We got brothers. It, it, look, it don't matter because we coming out. The word is so wicked. We gonna be to touch every sin it is. I'm, I'm glad you. I'm gonna bring a scripture up on that. But watch this. But that's why I said you got to make sure you focus on getting around sisters and, and brothers that's like minded like you. So watch, watch your reward when you do that. For unto you is paradise open. Hold on. Uh, unto you, if you get around brothers and sisters that's thinking like you. Read that again because that's a heavy point. For unto you is paradise. Now read the, the scripture above. Verse 51. But understand thou for thyself. Understand for yourself. What's your name again? 
Taylor. Understand Taylor. And seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Seek out the glory as such be like thee. Meaning that's trying to keep these commandments. Come on. For unto you is paradise open. Unto you is paradise open when you get around sisters that's thinking of like that's you. Right. The world ain't thinking of like you. The world ain't thinking of like us. The world is, like he said, I'm, oh, I'm going to have sex with this one, that one. I want to do this. I want to smoke this weed. I want to say, let's do That's what the world is on. We not on that. We on I love you, God. That's I'm trying to get this kingdom of heaven. I'm tired of this place. That's right. Read. The tree of life is planted. And the time is come. And, and the time to come is prepared. So the time has come, is prepared. Like the kingdom is, is is waiting on you to get yourself together. Now in the scripture you said, go to Isaiah 5 and 20. This is what you said. It's going to get to this time. Now watch this. Isaiah 5 and 20. Isaiah 5 and 20 is at that time. Matter of fact, before you get Isaiah 5 and 20, let's show you that if if this Bible went around, we all would be walking around here homosexuals. Let's show you that. Isaiah 1 and 9. Isaiah 1 and 9. Watch this. Let's see, if God didn't leave this Bible around, we all would be jacked up. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts had, had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. You see that? You, you familiar with Sodom and Gomorrah? God dest destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for all the wickedness, right? So all the wickedness, all the homosexuality acts, it wasn't just only homosexuality. It was adultery. It was all type of bestiality. It was all type of vigorous crimes, breaking the law. Bestiality, sleeping with dogs, sleeping with horses. Oh, yeah, you got people do that. You ain't know that? They actually just made it legal in Canada That's right. that you can sleep with your, your pet, your, your dog. I knew white women did it, but... Yeah, oh no, I, whatever white women do, our sisters eventually do. Oh. Whatever the white men doing, Mason, Masons, guess what we do? Oh, we Masons. Oh, oh, we Eastern Star. We got that from them. Oh, we, we gonna do this and do that. That's what happened. We gonna celebrate Christmas. Get where we got it from? The white man. We wanna celebrate no Christmas. We don't celebrate that stuff because it's not in the Bible to celebrate. You understand what I'm saying? So now, go to uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. It said, woe unto them that call what? Like what you just said. Read it again. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. So, woe unto them that call evil good. Because now, in a time of society, what? It's, oh, it's okay to be. I'm okay to be gay. I can be that. Oh, I can sleep with this. I can sleep with that. I can do that. They think that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying now they'll be looking at you funny because you ain't trying that lifestyle. Oh, you judge me. Oh, right. When when I I I can bet when that went down with you with your situation in the in your own um, room, I bet they was looking at you cr funny like something wrong with you. Like why you ain't getting down with this? They was looking at you like you something wrong with you. Woe unto them they call evil good. And, and good evil. Like us teaching this Bible, people want to kill us because we're teaching the Bible. That's but right. I thought this world was God bless America. Right. Well, wait a minute. What, what God they talking about then? Because we, we reading out uh, the Bible, but you got people want to kill us? Why? Because we trying to stand up for God. That's the right. world ain't trying to stand up for God. Right. You understand what I'm saying, sir? So you got to make sure you repent. Let me get this uh, Ezekiel 4, 14 and 6 and we're going to wrap it up. You got to make sure you get your soul right, like the scripture say. Get around people like thee that you're trying to get your mind right. We got a school that we're we finna go to now. We got our wives in there. We got our kids in there. We got sisters in there. We got young sisters in there. We got older sisters in there. Sisters that really want to keep these commandments because destruction is coming to this place. Right. You got to make sure you got yourself together, sis. Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves from your idols. You see that? Repent and turn yourself from your idols. You can turn yourself from what you've been now. Eastern Star, denounce that. You're not, not you are Israelite. That's, right. That's the greatest thing. You don't need nothing else. Right. Nothing else don't even matter. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You got the most high God. You don't need that, nothing else, all these Greek fraternities and stuff that we're in. Have us doing these old dirty pledges and have us doing foolish stuff. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Witchcraft. And the white man is behind all that crap because right. that's Greek is fascist. Yes. That's why you think everything Greek, cute dog. All that stuff is Greeks. They ain't got nothing to do with us. You understand right. what I'm saying? What have to do with us 
is that we the Israelites and we got to keep these commandments. That's right. Read. Read up. And turn away your face from all your abominations. You got to turn away from your abominations. You wearing, you wearing a dress. It, you know, you got to come back to wearing a dress. Turn your face away from them pants. You understand what I'm saying? You're a princess, like the officer brought out. When you get married, you're going to put on your best dress. You're not going to have on no pants. You understand what I'm saying? But you royalty every day, not just that one day. You a royalty all the time, sis. You're an Israelite. You understand? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.